I'm Rob Metcalf. I'm a consultant medical oncologist. I work at the Christie Hospital in Manchester and my job is actually quite unique in that my clinical uh, interest is focusing predominantly on patients with salivary gland cancers and also my, my job is structured such that I can spend most of my time doing research. So I spend four days a week at the moment purely on research and one day a week is, is spent seeing patients. The, the main goal of my research is to uh, improve patient outcomes with adenocystic carcinoma. Um, the way in which I do that is to focus on understanding the disease better um, and use that understanding to develop new drug therapies. I've broadly got two approaches to studying adenocystic carcinoma. The first is to understand the interactions between the tumour and the immune system with a view to developing new therapies that uh, stimulate the immune system to attack the cancer. And the second is understanding the biology focusing on the genes that have gone wrong in adenocystic carcinoma to develop new drug therapies that target those genes that drive the cancer. So to go about this, this research, um, there are different ways. So on the one hand, you can study um, what you call models of the disease in the laboratory. That means tumour cells that grow uh, in a dish in a laboratory. But actually to translate those findings to patient benefit, what you really need is to study these disease processes in primary patient tumours. So by primary patient tumours, what I mean is when patients have surgery for their disease, the specimen is stored in the laboratory where their operation takes place. And unless patients um, give their consent for these tumour samples to be studied, that's where they stay. And so what I do is I offer my patients the opportunity to be involved in this research by donating their, their tumour sample. That allows me to study all these same biological processes in what you call primary patient material. I currently see patients from across the UK uh, and given the opportunity to be involved in this research and contribute their samples to the, to the biobank and I'm happy to, to see patients from across the UK to, to build on what we've already developed. Patient involvement in the research has been critical to its success so far and I think will be critical to its ongoing success. So within the UK sort of clinical community we're very well set up to spread the message about what research is going on. I think people do know, clinicians in the UK do know what's happening in Manchester. I would want to encourage patients if they're really interested in being involved, I welcome their involvement in it.